Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. For more guided Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Have you ever experienced a season of illness in your life? Well, join me as we look at how we can experience divine healing today. You know, one of life's most stressful events is personal illness or the illness of a loved one. Unfortunately, the presence of illness is as certain as the changing of seasons and as predictable as the weather. You pray in faith for healing, but the reality is that sometimes healing does not always come in the form that you expect. Even though we live in a broken and hurting world, we can still experience divine healing. Scripture bears witness to how God heals, and today you will see how faith in Jesus healed many who were ill. For example, in Matthew chapter 14, verses 35 through 36, it tells of one of Jesus' miracles. It reads, And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent around to all that region and brought to him all who were sick and implored him that they might only touch the fringe of his garment, and as many as touched it were made well. When Jesus landed in Genesaret, people recognized him as a healer. They gathered all who were sick and brought them to the miracle worker. This act of urgency and intentionality showed great faith. The caregivers had to risk exposing the ill to make their way to Jesus, but their faith was greater than their fear. Those who believed relied on what Jesus had done in the past to press forward no matter the odds against them. Join me in a moment of closing prayer. Dear Lord, as I reflect on your attribute as a divine healer today, I recognize your power over all physical, mental, and emotional pain. So thank you for always hearing me when I call to you. I confess that I sometimes allow my circumstances to distract me from trusting you fully. So help me trust you more by remembering how you've shown your healing power in my life, physically, mentally, emotionally, and relationally. Give me the courage to make any necessary changes I need to make in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. As you close this time of meditation, linger in the moment and rest in the knowledge that your Heavenly Father is a good and loving Father who desires the best for His children. Even when life seems unfair, God's goodness is unchanged. He continues to love you and to fight for you. I hope that whether you find yourself in a time of joy or sorrow, that you cling to the truth in this passage and abide in your relationship with Christ. We hope this meditation brought you peace. For more Christian meditations, download the Abide app in iTunes or the Google Play Store.